it can be pretty hard building your very first scuba set because when you first set it up, everything looks cool and you don't really know what features that you need, not just what sounds kind of cool. When you first learn to dive, you're just kind of given your kit and you just get on with it, but you now that you're out on your own and you're actually investing in your own kit, you wanna make sure that you're getting the best stuff or at least gear that's appropriate to you. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at everything. I'm taking everything into account from the brand reputation, equipment quality, uh, your service intervals as well, the availability of spare bits for your, uh, for your equipment around the globe, anything that I can think of that I would be happy with diving with myself. Now there are some caveats because recreational diving can mean a, a wide, wide range of diving. So I'm gonna aim for the diver who is diving at home and abroad um, and is diving in both sort of warm and coldish waters. Uh, now I'm not really taking budget into too much consideration, but I'm not gonna just go for the most expensive gear. Uh, I'll be looking at good quality value for money that again, I myself will be happy diving with. Are you trying to say that I make this video too broad? Oh. <laughs> Recreational. So let's take a look at some gear and why I myself love it and try to build the perfect scuba diving setup for recreational divers. Your rigs are one of your most important bits of gear. So you really need to, or basically if you need to compromise somewhere, don't let it be on your regulators. One set of regulators that is often underestimated is the Aqualung Core Supreme Regulator. Uh, so this reg set is lightweight, but it's also cold water rated, and basically it has everything that you need. They are amazing value for money, uh, the core, but another amazing regulator would be, um, oh, this is just kid in a candy store at the moment, unfortunately. Um, I myself, I love the Scuba Pro Mark 17 with a G26. Uh, while it's a touch more expensive than the core, you do get additional features, but really, what really stands out for me is the two year surface interval. Um, so that's basically gonna be saving you money in the long runs, getting your regulators serviced, uh, and the G260 is pretty much the S600, uh, but with a different face on the front. Now, you don't need anything overly fancy on your wrist for recreational diving, and even the cheapest should have everything that like 90% of all divers will ever need. So with this in mind, don't be looking at, mm, wow, it can connect to 10 different transmitters, or it can switch between six different gases, because chances are that you'll only ever dive with one gas mix and maybe one transmitter, unless you get into some serious techie techie diving. So look for ease of use and and an understandable screen, really. Now, right now, I am loving the Oceanic VO4 dive computer and the Aqualung i300C. They're both pretty similar, uh, and if your budget allows for it, you can upgrade to the Aqualung i770R. Uh, they all have good sized screens, so you can actually see what's going on. They're pretty easy to use, and they look good as well. Um, if you find yourself buying a naff-looking dive computer, then you're just gonna resent it. <laughs> Ignore all of that by the Terek. People do spend a lot of time on BCDs, but at the recreational level, your main concern really is that it just fits you properly, and that's kind of it. In all honesty, I've never been a huge fan or a user of pockets on BCDs, because in reality, they're not that easy to reach, so don't make that one of your main concerns when looking for a BCD. Consider the weight, the robustness, uh, and the comfort, really, because chances are that you may be wearing it just over a rash vest in warm waters, so it does need to be comfortable. The ones that stand out for me are the Aqualung Pro HD. It's a lovely BCD and has everything that you'll need in a BCD, and it's not particularly heavy neither. Buy a five mil or a two and a half mil shorty, or both. Uh, and it really is as simple as that. Uh, if you feel the cold, then bump that shorty up to a full length three mil, uh, but yeah, that's kind of it. If you're gonna be diving in colder waters, then chances are you'll be upgrading to a dry suit anyway. And other than that, your five mil will kind of cover you. General rule of thumb is that you'll be hard pressed to overheat underwater. That is, unless you're diving in the tropics in a seven mil, um, that or you're watching this video in five years time when global warming has raised our ocean temperatures to unbearable levels.
Take a look at the bear 5 mil suit. Not the bear grr, but the bear as in huh, naked. I, I don't really get that. What, an equipment clothing brand that's called bear. I don't know. Anyway, uh, take a look at that or the Aqualung Aquaflex 5 mil suit. Now, I promise this video isn't actually sponsored by Aqualung. Um, they just have a great lineup of gear right now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you driving <laughs> Aqualung's <laughs> Um, You've got an wet suit underneath that. <laughs> yeah. uh. Both the bear and the aqualung are really stretchy. They're soft as well. Uh, just make sure that the cuffs and the ankles are nice and snug and you're good to go. Uh, you know, the rest of the suit has to fit as well, but you know, decent seals definitely help. Uh, that and a fourth element Xenos shorty. Uh, it's a top notch shorty. Uh, and also take a look at their thermocline as well. It's neutrally buoyant, so you don't need to add any lead for it. These should really be the first things that you buy, but take your time with them and don't immediately go with what looks cool or flashy. Go wrong. You gotta look cool. If it looks old and retro, then chances are that they are the best. Uh, if they've stood the test of time and modern day divers use them, then they're probably pretty decent. Your mask needs to sit on your face for long periods of time, so look at the skirt more than the frame. The Oceanic Shadow is a classic mask that just keeps on going and going, and you'll see these all over the place. Sadly, the Shadow wetsuit is no longer with us, but the mask lives on and carries on with the Shadow's legacy. The Scuba Pro Synergy Twin True Fit mask is also a lovely mask and a great all-rounder in my books. And of course, the Tusa Seos is another bulletproof mask uh, that I myself actually used to teach with. Fins, well, Apex RK3 all day long, that's kind of it. They're, yeah, they're solid fins that simply do their job. That and the Mara's Avanti Quattro Plus. Uh, if you see around 50% of all professional level divers wearing a certain pair of fins, then you know that you're gonna be gone to a good pair of fins. And based on some of the ones that I've seen with the scars and the scratches all over them, they can take quite a bit of a beating as well. Okay, so head to toe, you're gonna to be wearing a Tusa Seos mask with Scuba Pro Mark 17 G260 regs with like a 195 Octo and like a double gauge. Uh, an Aqualung Pro HD BCD over an Aqualung Aquaflex suit. Uh, an Aqualung I300C on your wrist and Apex RK3 fins on your feet. No, scrap the, it's Tarek. It's just a Tarek. Terror, that's all you need. Sheer they're Canadian, so what better? Exactly. <clears throat> uh, so there, oh, there we go, they're all pretty vague, um, but that should actually cover pretty much any recreational diver, but what do you people wear when you're diving and why? Uh, why did you choose a certain dive computer or a certain set of regulators? Um, let's talk in the comments, because there are some cool brands out there that are pretty regional, so let us know what they are. If you enjoy this video, then of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more like it. Smash on that little bell icon. It's really, really easy to do. Um, and that way you will be notified every time we upload a video. If you have any other ideas for these kind of videos, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to use the hashtag Flappy Snag Hazard. Thanks for watching and safe diving. And, and don't forget to go to our Teespring store, thanks. Oh yeah, we do that now, don't we? We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.